Hello, welcome to jQuery tutorial, chapter 26, jQuery animate function, part 2, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn like how to animate the HTML elements on the web page with the help of animate function in jQuery. So in the last session, we learned like how to animate the do element by increasing the width of the do by 400 pixels and that animation happened within a span of 4000 milliseconds. So there, we made use of two parameters that is properties and duration. But we did not work on easing and complete in the last session. So in this session, our objective is to learn uh, the parameters easing and complete. So I repeat, animation function it has four parameters. Only the first parameter is required and the rest three are optional. So in this session, we are going to learn what is easing parameters and what is complete parameter. So let me jump into the next slide and here comes the jQuery easing. So what do you mean by easing? It's a technique where the speed or the direction of animation are changed while the animation is in progress. So what easy easing can do is it can start off your animation very slowly and it can gradually speed up or it can be vice versa like it can start up very fast and gradually slow down and easing it as a set of values. So if you want to know the set of values present for easing you can hit this URL. So right now I have visited that, that URL and let me show you and here is that URL okay and and here is the content of that and you can observe the values for ease are linear and swing and default and apart from that you have other set of values I'll, and I'll show you afterwards All right now let me make you understand what is linear and swing suppose if I set my uh, ease value as linear now you can observe this is how the animation will happen okay it gradually moves up and comes down okay in the sense the animation starts very slowly and ends up very slowly and swing also it starts very slowly and ends up slowly you can observe the default nothing will happen so apart from that you have other set of values and right now I showed you like on click of this linear how the animation will start up and ends similarly on swing there is no that much of difference between linear and swing value suppose if you want to know clearly the difference between linear and swing difference let me scroll down and here we have a race to do that okay now when I click on this start race you can observe how the linear anime linear will take the animation and how it ends similarly the swing there is no that much of difference suppose if you want to know the difference between the different values of ease you can select them and you can click start the race now you can observe the ease out quint it took the animation very fast and it ended very fast but when compared to linear swing and ease in out quad okay these are the different values which we can assign to a ease so if you want to learn more about ease then we'll hit this URL and you will get the content and you can go through there right now let me jump back to presentation and this is what about easing is it's just a technique where you can speed or and or you can change the direction of animation when the animation is in progress so without wasting much time let me jump into visual studio and let me show you okay how the ease and the complete parameter works so before that what I'll do is let me take a do element okay to that do element let me assign an ID the ID is okay uh, my def and within that do I'm going to drag and drop a image this is the image I'm going to drag there and drop it so to this what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a ID let me take the ID name as my image okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a script so what I'll do right now is I'm going to identify this do okay I'm going to identify this image by the ID then I'm going to attach the animate function so instead of doing like that first let me run this page and let me show you how it renders there so this is the image what I'm getting now let me do in this manner like when I mouse over on this okay uh, the animation should happen by increasing the height and width to 400 pixel and once the animation is completed it should bring a pop-up message telling like the animation is completed and and apart from that it should also bring a background color to this do div which is encrypted where the image is encrypted inside this do okay once the animation is completed it should bring a background color to this do okay how can we achieve that it's very simple first let me start writing my script so I need to check out whether my DOM is completely loaded or not with the help of ready function
okay and now let me end up with semicolon now what I what I need to do is first I need to identify an image so I'm going to identify an image with that ID the ID is my image dot okay then I'm going to call on method okay on method is going to say take a set of events so uh, your control is so here what I'm going to do is uh, on mouse over I'm going to call an event called mouse over some function has to get executed what this function has to do let me write a code for that okay what this function has to do is it has to animate that image so I'm calling this dot animate okay what what has to do is it has to animate the things so the first thing it has to do is it has to increase the height height to 400 pixel and then uh, the width to 400 pixel okay now once okay and this animation should happen within a span of 3000 milliseconds okay and this is about mouse over and let me copy that let me separate the events by comma and th once the mouse is out what should happen we're going to write a anonymous function for that also the height should reduce to 100 and the width also should reduce to 100 and that should happen within a span of 2000 milliseconds now when I do control s now let me go back and let me refresh the page okay now when I mouse over on that you can observe the animations happening by increasing the height and width of the image to 400 now as soon as I mouse out you can observe the height and width is reduced to 100 respectively so this is what the animation is happening on the mouse over event as well as mouse out event now we learned like two parameters that is properties as well as the duration okay now we are going to learn the other two parameters that is easing and complete so to the easing as I told you we can pass multiple value we, we can pass the value so ease it can take the values like linear okay then okay then I'm having another parameter that is complete in the sense once the animation is completed what we can do okay so as of now let me show you like once the animation is completed what I'll do is I'll just bring a pop-up message telling like animation is completed so let me define a function first okay where do I define I'll define here I'll call the function and the function name as animate completed okay here I'm going to tell like I'm going to alert I'm going to tell like uh, animation is completed okay so I have to call this function here it has a parameter so now what happens is once the animation is completed it will look for this function and this function it has a definition telling like it has to bring up a message telling like animation is completed okay and now let me show you that let me refresh now you can observe I'm, I'm mouse over on that and it's happening the ease value is linear and the animation is completed we are getting a pop-up message okay now on the mouse out it's gradually decreasing the size the height and width to 100 this is what the importance of these two parameters that is ease as well as the complete once the function once the animation is complete it has to call a function called animate completed and this animate completed what it is doing is just bringing up a message like, like animation is completed okay this is what uh, the usage of these two parameters easing and complete okay and now let me jump to the next slide okay now we have something called animate methods chaining together so what happens if we chain multiple animates to it uh, multiple animation functions together let me show you that also so let me go here and let me remove as of now this things completely okay and now you can observe very clearly I have an image so I'll identify that image with the ID the ID is my image and to this what I need to do is I'll animate I'll call an animate function and I'll tell like okay I have to move that image left okay by 400 pixels 
okay and that should happen within a span of 3000 milliseconds and now I'm going to attach another animate method so just to save the time what I'll do is I'll just copy I can I can paste it here itself just for clear observance I'll push it down okay and and it has to push the element from the top by 400 or 300 pixel okay and that should happen within a span of 2000 milliseconds and let me copy it again okay and this is top and after it has come from the top it has to go to left and it has to give okay like 20 pixel and again from the top it has to give 20 pixel I hope like this is not necessary the pixels okay, and this should happen within a span of 5000 milliseconds and this should happen within a span of 2000 milliseconds let me give it to itself it such that it looks good what I've done right now is I've changed multiple animate methods so now when I go back and when I refresh okay right now nothing is happening why because you have to understand this sentence very clearly okay all the HTML elements have a static position and it cannot be moved so right now the our animation is not happening because our HTML element is having a position called static by default the every element the position will be static and if I want that element to be animated so what I need to do is to I need to modify the position okay of that particular element and set the position to fixed absolute or relative anyone so let me go and do that to this image I'll add a style attribute and I'll set the position okay position as relative now when I do control s let me go back and let me refresh you can observe right now the element is moving from left and to top and now to the left and again to the top 20 pixel gap okay this is what the jQuery chining is and jQuery method animate method chining is by default these calls are placed into a queue to be executed one by one after the other in series rather than executing all of them simultaneously in parallel so this is what the animate method chining is each method animate method will execute one after the other and it will not execute simultaneously in parallel and other important point you have to keep in mind if you want to uh, animate multiple methods chained together and to the particular HTML element you have to make the position either fixed absolute or relative otherwise the animations will not work because th by default the HTML element positions will be static and it cannot be moved so this is what the animate methods chining is okay and I hope in this session we learned like the two parameters easing and complete and also we learned like how to and how to uh, chain the multiple animate methods and we also learned this key point very important okay and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer websites we're on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day